went to my first punk rock show when I was about 14. And uh, I went home that night after the show and I, I told my dad I, I wanted to play drums because the whole night I just kept watching the drummers and I fed off their energy. You know, the drummers were going off the most and I wanted to be back there. And uh, you know, the week after that, my dad bought me my first drum kit from the local swap meet. You know, I was hooked right away. I, you know, you, you couldn't get me off that thing. You know, it was a pretty crappy sounding kit, but I didn't even care. I just, I just wanted to learn how to play. You know, he taught me my first couple drum beats, and from then on, I just, I started watching every single drummer I could, whether it be at, you know, a festival tour, or just at a club show or whatever. I, w I would just focus in on the drummer, really try to uh, take in what he was doing, and um, you know, go home and, and try to implement it into my playing as well. That's always been my style, just to feed off, you know, other artists I, I see. say I'm, I'm very expressive behind the kit you know I make a lot of faces and I make a, a lot of strange strange faces I, I see in photos but uh, I really can't help it um, I don't really know how to play uh, like chilled out yeah I mean I've always been able to express myself through you know playing live um, you know I kind of a quiet person uh, off stage and then when I go on stage it's just like I'm the loudest person there uh, and uh, I think drums has just kind of been that one thing where I can just release and uh, nothing else matters at that time and I just want to you know hit hard and I want to see the crowd move and I want to you know play as perfect as I can and um, you know you know sweat my ass off that's why I hate sleeves. Sleeves are the devil. Yeah, the whole S line, I think my favorite symbol is the ride I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing the 22 inch ride and it's just so smooth but bright at the same time, I wanna say. And it cuts through super well uh, and it just feels good playing. Um, and also the S master sound hi-hats also sound amazing. And they just feel good and they cut through and uh, I think they're they're going to be some of my go-to symbols from now on. Yeah, but I think, you know, it's just always been my passion and uh, you know, I really want to just keep pushing and um, you know, it's awesome that we have uh, Zildjian you know, supporting us and um, creating these new symbols, the S series, which are the most bold, expressive symbols I've ever heard. Um, 
you know, I was just playing them in the sound check and they cut so good and they're so crisp and uh, clean that uh, you just want to keep hitting them. <laughs> so yeah, definitely uh, check out the S-Series.